Welcome to The Rich Report, a podcast with news and information on high-performance computing. Today, my guest is from IBM Platform. We have Gabor Samu. He is a portfolio marketing manager for software-defined infrastructure at the company. Gabor, how are you doing today? Excellent. Uh, thank you for your time and the opportunity to speak with you today, Rich. Well, great. I'm glad we could connect. You know, we met uh, at ISC 2015, but I thought this be a, a great opportunity to learn more about IBM Platform Data Manager for LSF. So, Gabor, I, I brought your slides up. Why don't we start there and then we'll follow it with a Q&A. Excellent. Okay. Thanks, Rich. So the theme for the, for the talk today is uh, data movement in high-performance computing environments. So this is something which is uh, increasingly important uh, in HPC today as the volumes of data grow. And the challenge really is to make the movement of data uh, smart or intelligent. So let's begin with a quick overview of the IBM Platform LSF family of products. So when people hear about Platform LSF, what comes to mind is workload management for HPC clusters. Although that's the core capability, the Platform LSF family of products actually includes a number of additional tools which are focused on three main areas as we see in the uh, chart here. So the first one is uh, end user productivity with tools such as uh, intuitive application portal and a fully GUI driven uh, tool for computational workflows. The second area is operational and management reporting. So for that, we have tools which provide operational dashboards, and we also have another tool which is for advanced workload and infrastructure analytics. And then the third area is scheduling efficiency with tools to maximize resource utilization through intelligent data staging, uh, license scheduling, to name a few. So today we're going to be focusing actually on the most recently introduced product in the IBM Platform LSF family, which is called platform data manager for LSF. And what it provides is intelligent data movement and data aware scheduling capabilities for platform LSF environments. So as, a, as I mentioned at the outset, uh, organizations today may be faced with specific business challenges around data movement uh, when they're operating HPC environments. So for example, am I trying to, am I tying up compute resources waiting for data to be transferred? Am I wasting time or wasting space copying data if somebody else in the team has already moved that data? So these are just a few challenges uh, which I've named. So the question is, is how do you make this all smart? So this is a question that we were actually asked by a number of our clients in various industries, uh, ranging from automotive, aerospace, uh, through to oil and gas. And we actually worked in conjunction with them to develop a platform data manager for LSF. So although Platform LSF has supported the staging of data as part of the job since its inception, Platform Data Manager makes the data movement smart. So whether local or in a cloud type of environment, a Data Manager helps to ensure that the data is in the right place at the right time, and that helps uh, with the throughput and the time to solution. So and it achieves this through, uh, through various uh, capabilities that it provides. The first capability is uh, automatically moving data out of band. So essentially what we've done is we've decoupled from the job the data transfer. And this way you won't tie up your compute resources waiting for data to be transferred. Your job will only get started once the data is in the right location. Second capability is uh, automatically deduplicating transfers and caching data. So this way you won't waste time or space transferring data if it's already there, for example. And naturally, this all extends to data affinity. So, for example, if, you, if your organization has two different sites, and site A has, let's say, 60% of the data that you need, and site B has 10% of the data, then the job will get sent to where the most data it needs already exists. So, of course, this is all fully, great, fully integrated with platform LSF. And you can actually configure the uh, file transfer mechanism that's used. And we, we support, uh, for example, SCP, Grid FTP, just to name a couple. In addition to IBM Aspera High Speed, which uh, gives you the ability to transfer rapidly very large files and data sets. So we talked about data affinity a moment ago. So this is kind of a simplified view of what data affinity 
uh, is uh, what the data affinity support is uh, in Platform Data Manager. So our organization has four sites, each with a Platform LSF cluster, and all the clusters are connected together. A user submits a job in the first cluster, cluster A, asking for a specific large uh, data file, which has previously been transferred and cached in cluster D. So here the job is forwarded to a cluster D because it makes the most sense. So really the, the availability of the uh, data becomes a, a factor when forwarding jobs to remote clusters. So we've talked about data staging uh, in platform with Platform Data Manager, and that includes uh, caching and uh, out-of-band transfers. So now let's look at one possible application of the capabilities in the form of a burst buffer for HPC. So here there's a tiered storage hierarchy, which is managed with uh, IBM Spectrum Scale, which is based on GPFS technology. And by using a platform data manager here, we can help to ensure that the burst buffer is kept warm, essentially, meaning that the necessary data is there before the job starts, and also that any results that are written to the burst buffer are staged out efficiently and out of band from the job. So this goes back to uh, not wasting time uh, holding CPUs essentially as transfers are going on. So I wanted to note that uh, IBM Spectrum Skill does support automatic migration of data between storage tiers based on, on access patterns, and that's actually something called AFM, or uh, automatic uh, file migration. So if, the, if data isn't used for a period of time, then it's moved to slower, less costly storage. And uh, when it's needed, it's moved to faster, more costly storage. So Data Manager can work uh, in conjunction with uh, these storage features like AFM to move data prior to the job needing it. So th this is the last slide in the set. Uh, so thanks for the opportunity to speak, Rich. And uh, people can get more information on the platform LSF family of products at the uh, URL that's indicated. Well, thanks for that, Gabriel. You know, I, I want to uh, you know, circle back here a little bit. It, it would seem to me that uh, you're making this much more transparent for the user in that uh, uh, this job isn't even going to start until the data is there so that they're not calling up you guys saying, why is my job slow? Correct. I mean, is that where it was driven from? So, so there's actually, so Data Manager itself, it provides a number of uh, CLI tools that you can use to see what the status is of all your transfer jobs. So users, uh, you know, users will be able to gauge, uh, you know, from that, what is the state of the transfer jobs, whether they've completed or not. Uh, in the prior to Data Manager, when staging was, staging of data was part of the LSF job, um, it was hard to get visibility into that because it was a pre-execution and post-execution type of action. Uh, what you would see is your job was running, but you, you weren't sure if the transfer was actually happening at that time unless you, you know, went in at a lower level to check. Yeah, and, and, and this is really intriguing to me because the idea of burst buffers is, is kind of a new concept in HPC that we're seeing more and more about. Um, was was this a, a recent development that you saw that there was a, there was this gap, right? There was this hardware being developed for this burst buffer, but uh, it looked like a, a logical job for uh, the job scheduler. Right. So I mean, in, indeed, you know, as I mentioned, the <clears throat> uh, file systems such as uh, IBM Spectrum Scale, it can do migration of data between the storage tiers, but it's not coupled with the scheduler. So the the platform data manager provides that intelligence to to basically uh, ask for the data and get the data in the right place, uh, which would you know be this uh, flash area in the case of the burst buffer example that we've given uh, to make sure that that's there prior to your job executing. Well, Gabor Semo, I want to thank you once again for sharing this with us, and uh, thanks for coming on the show today. All right, thank you, Rich. You bet. Okay, folks, that's it for the Rich Report. Stay tuned for more news and information on high-performance computing.